Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into the EMI coming out of a cordless electrical drill. And it's pretty typical of what most people have in their homes these days for doing DIY. I'm going to use a simple AM radio and we're tuned in to uh, AM 530 and you can be tuned into any band just as long as there's no radio station there. As the emissions that come out of these for electromagnetic interference are broadband emissions. So there's a wide range of frequencies coming out of these cordless power tools. So let's turn on the radio and then we can start testing our electric drill for EMI. So as we can see right now the radio band is not being affected at all by the presence of the drill. So that all changes as soon as we press the switch. Let's see how big these fields are. They appear to be about three feet. So it's rather concerning that you know people are actually using these, particularly if the contractors are using them daily. And there's a whole bunch of radio waves coming out of them. And this is a problem because this may actually induce radio wave sickness into people and electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And uh, you should go online and Google electromagnetic hypersensitivity and radio wave sickness and electromagnetic interference and see exactly what you find on there. As, uh, there's a lot of very extensive documentation online regarding these EMI effects. And uh, EMI effects are discussed extensively in my book, Toxic Health, and that's another source of information if you're wondering how this is going to impact your health. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.